Um, thank you again. Um, so my title is uh, Lateral Inhibition Hypothesis for the Uncanny Paris. I want to present uh, two, two ideas about the Uncanny Paris. Um, actually, you know, the, I... Um, um, I have, you know, 2001, I have created uh, this Android, and this is in my uh, the uh, daughter's Android. Uh, sorry, it doesn't work, but uh, yes, it is working, right? <laughs> you know, and, uh, but I couldn't install enough number of actuators, right? And I, I, I didn't have enough budget for creating the uh, operating Android. I just in, uh, installed the uh, five actuators on the head. Therefore, you know, the, uh, when the Android moves, uh, the whole body was vibrating like this. And, and this was so uncanny bodies. And actually, my daughter, you know, in the first contact, my daughter cried. <laughs> but, uh, after that, uh, well, you know, then we got the another big project, and actually, and this is the uh, uh, the, uh, the Android I have exhibited in a World Expo in Aichi. The project leader was uh, in a sense, you know, that today that we have. Uh, the two big bosses here, and uh, you know, but anyway, so uh, I think uh, you know the, this Android was not uncanny anymore, right? And we could have uh, uh, installed the enough number of actuators, and we could have a, a pretty good balance between appearance and human-like movement. So the, actually, you know, that kind of uh, the the balance between the modalities were qu uh, is quite important, you know, for not having the uncanny body, uncanny in the Android. Um, so then, you know, the uh, I in the, in the place. The, uh, uh, the issues of uncanny bodies, and, and I, I found that the more senses worked and just after you know, building the, uh, that, the uncanny robot. But I, I really think uh, you know, that we need to discuss about the two, the two things. One is the mechanism. Why you know, we want to have uh, that kind of uh, the things, I, I mean, the uncanny bodies. And the, um, our hypothesis, uh, you know, and this is a kind of a, a lateral inhibition in our brain. Um, you know, that, you know that basically we have a, a model for recognizing the humans, or you know, the, they we want to build the, a model for recognizing each person, right? And uh, but however, if uh, you know the input data, input information, does if that uh, they, you know, the, the information doesn't match to the uh, perfectly match to the, the the model for recognizing humans, you know, we gonna have a, a lateral inhibition, and and then you know, we gonna have uncanny feelings, right? But uh, the, on the other hand. Uh, recently, what we are you know, interested in is, uh, you know, if you know, how we can activate uh, this the model for recognizing humans. So, do do we need to have uh, you know the, uh, the full information about the, uh, uh, the uh, you know for all modalities, right? Uh, for example, the human, the, the we can feel, we can recognize humans from the appearance, movement, snare, and voice, and many many things, many many the you know, modality we have. So, question is, uh, you know, how how many modalities do we have, right? So, how we can feel the sound icons. So, and you know, once we activate this model, right, we can feel the sound icon. This, you know. And, and, and I want to quickly talk about the two things. And of course, you know, the, the uncanny bodies, we can extend the idea of uncanny bodies. And, and, and the usually the, we uh, just focus on the two modalities and shape and movement, but you know, we can extend it to the other. Um, well, um, the, um, uh, well, and, and, you know, and, well, anyway, so the, the uncanny body consists of many modalities. So, so recently, um, um, well, and, and uh, we are also using uh, the uh, you know, um, brain the, the, the imaging, and uh, you know we try to identify which brain part is contributing for uh, distinguish, uh, you know, the, uh, the human and others, right? And, and our finding is uh, you know the the, the vertex is around here, uh, they're contributing for you know um, distinguishing the human and others. And uh, the recently we are getting the much more precise data about this, right? So and uh, well, and new neuroscience too is is also important to identify the the uh, and the brain functions for the uncanny bodies. And another uncanny body we can consider. So and, uh, and the, this is the uncanny android, and uh, we check the response to the various ages in the, for this in an uncanny robot. Actually, you know, the, but this is not exact result, right? So this is a, a very rough result. That we're still continuing. So, um, but you know, the one one week uh, infant and two weeks, you know, the, the response is getting better, better. But however, you know, two years or three years and four years around here, you know, the, the response is very, very negative, right? And they, they're gonna be a very, very sensitive. And then you know, the 90 years or the more than that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, the, honestly speaking, you know, the, 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 well, you know, we wanna accept more and I can robots. So, you know, what is the the mechanism? Well, it's, it's quite difficult to quickly explain everything. It's by the 
uh, ideally think that is the lateral inhibition. So lateral inhibition is a very famous uh, the, uh, you know, the, the functions to detect the edges, right? You know, it's a, so roughly speaking, the, it's a, you know, uh, uh, the, the most fundamental operation for the brain's uh, securities and, and, it, and, and integral to the operation of all structures. So, and uh, uh, neural networks, you know, the uh, basal ganglions, the facial recognition, always, you know, that these are kind of pattern matching and, and that we can have, uh, you know, much, uh, you know, well, you know, we we can have we can access to the own uh, the model, uh, the, you know, to recognize human self, and we can mentally project that, you know, the model onto this, you know, uh, neutral the uh, robots, and uh, you know, the most the uh, minimal robot is here. Well, and this is and everybody likes to use that robot, and this is a minimal one. The have this this one has a voice. You know, this is the the, the, the smart home holders, you know, and and the have has the uh, voice and uh, uh, the tactile sensations. Actually, by using hardware, we can reduce the uh, uh, you know, cortisol. This is the stress hormones, and, uh, and we can say that uh, the users can feel the human presence. Therefore, you know, we could reduce, uh, you know, and significantly reduce the cortisol, right? And, and then you know, I, well, I, the, this is my hypothesis: the two modalities, right? The two modalities can activate the, uh, the you know, um, the model of, of, of recognizing humans. So anyway. Uh, the, our important role is to uh, understand the structures the, among the uh, multiple modalities in the model for the recognizing humans. Then you know the, uh, we can have a much much more deeper understanding about the uh, uncanny Thank you. So.